All right. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Eric Demain, and um, this is a talk about um, puzzle fonts, which you may have heard me talk about at past gatherings for gardeners, uh, this time with the theme of puzzle fonts about puzzles because recursion. Um, and this is joint work with Martin Demain, my dad, uh, who many of you know, so we like to make fonts together. And I'm going to talk about five fonts today in six minutes. Um, a bunch of these fonts were featured recently in the New York Times in an article by Siobhan Roberts, uh, who spoke on Friday about Conway. Uh, so you can check that out if you're interested in more. Uh, we start with uh, Tetris font. So here, each letter of the alphabet is made out of the seven tetromino pieces in the game of Tetris. And here we see Tetris font spelling itself. Um, here's the full alphabet. Uh, and these letters were designed so that you could actually construct them in Tetris physics, so with no extreme overhangs. Um, and we like to pair our uh, fonts together with mathematical results. So here, uh, we published this font together with an MP completeness result, a new one showing that Tetris is hard even with just eight columns or four rows. Um, and then, so that's the font about a puzzle. Now it's a puzzle font about a puzzle. Um, here is a falling puzzle. So if you just take each of these pieces and drop them straight down, the question is what uh, words do you get? I assume it's obvious. Uh, you guys are good puzzle solvers. Uh, let's see, uh, we get Gathering for Gardener. Um, and a different kind of puzzle font you get is a uh, packing puzzle. These are quite a bit harder uh, for those who like fun uh, packing puzzles. Here, e each of these letters can be made uh, out of exactly the seven tetrominoes. Uh, it's quite challenging to find them. Uh, some of them we found by hand, but when we were designing this font, we used Burr tools a lot, which was a great tool for exhaustively uh, searching for these kinds of packing. So we could you know, tweak a couple pixels and see, uh, is it still makeable in a Tetris way? Uh, so that's Tetris font. Next is Sudoku font. I'm sure you uh, all know Sudoku, most popular puzzle out there. Uh, so here we designed a puzzle that if you uh, connect together with these purple lines, consecutive numbers, like one, two, two, three, three, four, and then you look for the longest path among that purple graph, you get uh, a letter of the alphabet. So uh, this was quite challenging to construct all the letters. It's very hard to work with consecutive numbers in Sudoku. It doesn't like to go very long. Um, and uh, of course, Sudoku puzzles are also MP complete. This was uh, 20 years ago known. Um, and so we wrote a program, uh, we designed these uh, long paths and then wrote a program to fill in the other clues uh, and then remove clues until uh, you couldn't remove any clues and still have a uniquely solvable puzzle. So we ended up with 81 different uh, puzzles that solve to each letter. Uh, could probably do more, but 81 seemed like a nice number, nine by nine. Um, and if you play with these online, you can, um, you actually get an interactive puzzle solver like you would on the New York Times or something. Uh, and in this case, I've got hint mode turned on so I can click on one of the glues, one of the green squares and figure out uh, that's missing a, a four, I think, uh, or if I make a mistake, it will highlight what I'm conflicting with. Uh, so these puzzles all happen to be easy to solve. You can just solve them one square at a time. Uh, it would be fun to work on harder versions. Uh, but on to this solves to MG for Martin Gardner. Uh, on to the next puzzle font. Um, these are this is a newer one, uh, Yin Yang puzzles. Uh, so here, the goal is to connect together all of the black pixels and connect together all of the white pixels, but you're not allowed to make a two by two monochromatic square. So that one definitely has to be black if that's white and so on. Um, and uh, this uh, solves to yin yang. If you look at it from far away, it happens to be uh, unique. And all of these uh, letters, of course, are designed to be uniquely solvable. Uh, and this is also paired with an NP completeness result. Um, and then we wrote a program to uh, remove clues until uh, the puzzle was just barely uniquely solvable, and we hand chose sort of the hardest versions of each puzzle. You can also take multiple letters. These are two letters uh, joined together and made into a single puzzle uh, for this conference. You can try it online. I'll show the links at the end. Um, next puzzle is path puzzles. So here you want to uh, find a single path from the entrance to the exit. 
um, such that in each row and column, you have exactly the specified number of uh, occupied pixels. It's a puzzle by Rod Kimball of Flying Karamazov Brothers fame uh, and often attends Gathering for Gardener. In this case, we get PathPuzz. Um, and here's a full alphabet uh, paired with an MP completeness result, which we did together with Rod. Uh, last puzzle is to Tommy Bari. Here you have a bunch of clues. Uh, this is a Nicolay style puzzle. You want to decompose into little regions uh, where the plus clues are in square regions and the you know, vertical bar clues are in rectangles that are taller than they are wide and vice versa with the horizontal clues. And in this case, we get uh, the puzzle is NP hard. And indeed, uh, we have an NP completeness result for this one as well, and a full alphabet, which we checked by exhaustive search with a computer. Um, and that was our little tour of puzzle fonts uh, through puzzle fonts about puzzles. Uh, if you want to see more, uh, you can go to our fonts page or just go to my webpage and find the fonts. Uh, they're all interactive apps you can play with online and all open source. You can I'll modify them too. And these slides themselves are also online uh, if you check out my GitHub page. And that's it. Thanks.